Tim McDonald here, founder and CEO of iTheatrics. Today, we're going to pay a visit on one of our NBC Smash Make a Musical schools. This school happens to be located at the crossroads of American history. Behind me is the historic Trinity Church, and directly in front of me is Zuccotti Park, where the Occupy Wall Street protests have been taking place. And bordering the school on the other side is the 9-11 Memorial. Come with me and let's check out the remarkable things that are taking place at Leadership and Public High School right here in New York City. So we are literally one block from ground zero and the engine of the second plane on 9-11 landed on our roof. And that, that's huge in our history because following 9-11, who wants to send their child to Legion Public Service High School? Then it became the morgue for the bodies on that day and the kids were displaced to the Fashion Institute um, and then they came back and no one's parents wanted to send them to this school because it was so close to you know, what had happened. And we went through a very difficult time. So the school went from being an example of what an excellent small school could be to get in one of the, to get in the lowest grade possible in the progress report, which is an F. That was five years ago. I believe that down the road, because we are putting money into the arts, that students eventually, our numbers will dramatically increase in terms of graduation and so on. Because the idea is if you capture a child with something they're passionate about, then you have them. Now, I know there's going to be a whole lot of pressure on us, you know, sing out. You know, we have Trinity Church over here. We got to sing out and be the best school that we can be. Even if you get a few five minutes to say a few lines, rock those lines out. Those are your lines made just for you. It goes so far beyond what you do in that room or the production that you create at the end and all the applause. And once all that's over, you end up with a very, very different group of kids than you started with. Um, they have a family. They support each other. And that goes throughout the day. And it starts with making sure you go to class or are you OK or checking in. Also, just knowing to be myself and not care what other people think about me. I Sure, I can be someone else on stage, but at the end of the day, I've learned to take pride in who I am. Being in a musical makes me want to come to school because I have something to look forward to. And it's not like I just come to school and then go home and do nothing. Now I actually have something productive to do after school. On the other side, we had for a while Occupy Wall Street people people playing the drums, we can hear it out the windows. I remember one time I was giving a test, it was like a regent's exam or something, mm -hmm. and the kids were taking their tests and trying to concentrate. And then I hear banging on the drum, doo -doo -doo -doo, and I'm like, oh my goodness. But at the same time, I respect them for standing up for what they believe in. It, it kind of relates to acting. Um, people go out there and they do what they believe in, they do what they want, they express themselves. So our kids are learning literacy, they're learning how to relate to people, they're learning how to work together. These are, these are experiences that they're going to take forever. So open at nights, when they, they accomplish, when, it, when it's done, whether things mess up, it doesn't make a difference. They've come together, they've pulled all their resources together, they put this production on, and it's accomplishment. And a lot of my children, the majority of them, have never experienced success. We want it to become a place where every child is cared for, where every child's passions are nurtured, and where they can be successful. Come on, America, make a musical!